I watched the sunset over a Maxwell Parish sky. I sat alone, isolated by my own genius. He drank until it was safe to mouth insults at others. It made him feel better about being mad at himself. Alone at the table, waiting to be served, wearing a frown, still waiting. Frown goes larger and larger until the cookbook drops on my head and out of my hat jumps a rabbit and he does the tango with a chicken who is running in circles, screaming, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. And I open the cookbook and it's written in a foreign language and I am sitting at the table waiting to be served, and I am wearing a frown, a big, big frown. My feet float above the floor, and flowers fall like rain, and furniture spins and dances like fingers strumming a violin, strung from the moon. My joy knows no gravity, my joy knows no gravity. My joy knows no gravity. Connections within the human mind jump sluggish as bullfrogs from lily to lily until from malice or inspiration it quickens like a raging fire then darts feverishly between thoughts and words and moments of memory and recollection, sprinting so fast that the latter blur becomes an image of fantasy. The moment, the day, the breath, where everything you have known ceases to exist, the moment, the day, the breath, waiting, dead, resurrection, the stupi stupidity, the complete stupidity of a woman falling in love. He lays down sexy like a shadow thrown by a movie spotlight. He eats passion like he is sucking the juices of the last peach on earth. He walks proudly like a naughty child who made a clear escape. He talks integrity like a lion with a human child in his mouth. He pushes imagination like a clown in a silent temple. He lays down sexy and it's all over me. He lays down sexy and is all over me.